Hi, welcome to Fire Return Coatings of Texas. My name is David Paulo. Today we're going to show a demonstration on the application process of our FX Lumber Guard coating. And then we're going to show a demonstration and we're going to burn a piece of untreated yellow pine. And we're going to burn a piece of yellow pine that's been coated with our FX Lumber Guard. All of our FX Guard coatings are all non-toxic, non-hazardous to the environment, to plants, to humans, to animals. They're odorless and they're colorless. When you use an uh, FX Lumber Guard, after it's cured and dried on the wood, you can stain or paint over the coatings. All of our, our FX Lumber Guard has passed the ASTM E84 extended test and it, it meets all the requirements of a applied coating. If you have a CSI code that requires a, f a finish or a coating or a, a, a field application, our coating is approved for those, those applications. So if any further information is needed, please visit our website at www.firetardantcoatingsoftexas.com or you can contact us at 817-881-2401. This is a piece of yellow pine that has been treated. This end is the untreated end, and this is the treated end. As you can tell, it gives just a little bit, of, just a little tinge color to it. And that's uh, building inspectors, any type of inspectors can look and see that a piece of wood has been treated. Um, it's a good, we recommend that, that you keep a, a small sample of wood with your paperwork to show building inspectors or, or any type of inspector, that fire inspector, fire marshals, anybody like that. So you can show them your, your invoice, your MSDS sheet, your specification data sheet, and a sample of what you've treated. This is a piece of cedar that we've treated. This is the treated side. This is the untreated end. And as you can tell, there's no, no Characteristic change to the wood. Again, this is the treated end. This is the untreated end. Now, this is a piece of southern yellow pine. We're going to show the process, the application process. Um, this is our FX lumber guard. We we are going to apply it with just a regular trigger sprayer. Just give it a nice even coat and then you let it dry. Uh, process is very simple, very easy. You can use a, a pump up sprayer, yard sprayer. You can use a paint roller, paint brush. You can use a, a small quart bottle with a trigger sprayer. The cleanup is, is very simple also. A little bleach water solution and everything, it, it wipes right up. Again, as, as mentioned before, our coatings are non-toxic, they're non-hazardous to the environment, to animals, to humans, to plants. Um, they're, they're, as you can tell, they're colorless. There's no color to them. It's odorless. This is a piece of yellow pine that's been uh, that's untreated and this is a piece of yellow pine that's treated with our fire retardant lumber guard we're going to show on the piece that's untreated we're going to put the flame on it for approximately 45 seconds and watch it be how the flame spreads And after about 45 seconds, it, it should start igniting.
There's 45 seconds. Now we're going to apply the same heat to our treated piece. We're going to put this on here for, well, we'll do it for a couple of minutes. As you can see, there's a little, little white haze on the wood. That's the coating reacting to the heat. We're about 45 seconds, almost a minute in. About a minute and a half. The untreated piece finally extinguishes itself. We're coming up about two minutes. Well, we'll do it about two and a half minutes. There's two and a half minutes. As you can see, there's no flare up, there's no ignition. The coating creates a barrier. If you can see the little bubbling here, this is what protects the wood from igniting. 